Okay, so this is a kind of a quick look at the K2 26650 high capacity energy cells. These are being offered by Battery Hookup. Um, they just started offering them probably about a week ago. That's when I picked these up. They just came by FedEx uh, yesterday. And so I have already opened these to take a look at them and I did a couple tests. So I want to just kind of go through kind of things that I noted about these. Um, so I'll just open this box, kind of have, see how these are shipped. These are the actual case packs from the company K K2. They have information here about their their lot numbers and everything else, the PO number. These, according to Battery Hookup, were used for military EV applications, and these are kind of what was left over. So they've got lots of cases of these. I bought my own. I did not. I'm not being paid <coughs> for this review. Do I have anything to do with battery hookup? I just like that they offer batteries. Anyhow, so let's take a look and see what you get in the case. Box is smaller than I expected. These are really well packed, compact packing. Inside, these are all in, all the cells are kind of trayed up and inside a plastic bag. This was sealed with a zip tie, which I've already removed. This is a bit of desiccant. This all basically keeps these from getting wet or moisture damaged. Can't really get to the cells without getting this plastic case off. So you gotta take these out of the box to get these out of here. Um, I've already removed a few cells from another case which I purchased. You get 120 in here. Get out of the way. So these are the couple, these are a couple of the cells which I've already taken out from another case and I threw them on the tester. They both tested higher than the capacity that they're rated for. These came up at three, basically 3.9 milli, um, 3.9 amp hours, or 3,915 milliamp hours and 3,909 milliamp hours. So these are rated for 3,800 milliamp hours. And I tested these on an Opus. It's kind of known that the Opus will kind of overestimate things, at least that's what I've heard. My Opus is two or three years old now. It's gone through hundreds if not thousands of cells. So I don't know if my model is one that overestimates or if this is accurate, but you know, these are basically testing where they're supposed to. These are all brand new cells, of course, that they're offering. These aren't used. There's no tabs to remove on these. So let's take a look at the stats on these. This is from the Battery Hookup website. So these are 28 milliamp hours. So these are just huge compared to a lot of 26650s. Most of the 26650s I've encountered are usually around 2,500 milliamp hours, 2,600 milliamp hours. So this is about 50, 60% more storage in these. That's really impressive to me. Uh, nominal voltage of 3.2, which is pretty standard for the form factor. These have a continuous discharge of 12 amps. So if you do the math on that, you get 3.2 times 12 amp hours. So these can put out 38.4 watts of power continuously. So that's pretty good. They can pulse up to 28 amps and they have a charge current of 3.8. Now, I don't like to believe everything I read on the internet, so I also went off and found the spec sheet from K2 Energy, which is here. This is for the same cell type. These are the energy cells, same number here. The only thing that's different is the capacity. So these, the spec sheet that I was able to get from the company was for their 3700. They didn't seem to have the 3800 listed. <clears throat> so I'm assuming that they're probably close to the same. So looking down here, comparing these two. <clears throat> so comparing these two, we have continuous discharge is on this one here is <clears throat> three points, less than 3.7. So over here we have a 12 amp. So that's, that's interesting that that's a different, hugely different figure. Um, we got a pulse of 13, a pulse of 28. So maybe these are completely different. I don't know. Um, for most people's applications, we are probably not, if you're doing these in like a power wall and stuff, you're not gonna be 
pulling 12 amps per cell regardless. Um, you're going to be keeping that much lower than that. And the interesting thing about these is they do seem to operate at a low temperature. So we have low operating temp of negative 20. Typical lithium ion cells like your 18650s, they really do not like to be charged or should they ever be charged at anything below or approaching freezing temperatures. So these apparently can be charged at negative 20, but there is a little asterisk down here which says it may reduce cycle life. So probably still best to keep these above freezing when charging them. So just for a comparison, here is a spec sheet for the A123 ANR 26650M1B. These are pretty standard. A lot of people use these and things. They're pretty common out there right now. I've been using these, salvaging these for a project that I'm working on right now. So these ones here have a 3.3 nominal voltage. They have a continuous discharge of 50 amps. So these will put out a lot more power on demand. They have a pulse of 120, which is just insane. Um, <clears throat> these also have a story, a um, operating temp at negative 30. Is that the same? No, we have negative 20, negative 30 over here. And, but these of course only have a rated capacity of 2.5 amp hours. So let's take a look at some of the specs, physical specs on these. So these have a scale here. We'll take, just kind of check their weight, compare them to some other cells. So these are 88.2 grams each. I have here a couple other 26650 cells. This is just, I have no idea what brand this is. It came in another pack that I opened up and salvaged. These were rated for 2,500 milliamp hours, the same as these here, A123s. And these actually, I tested, these came out at um, basically right on the number there. So measure that. So we're at 80.8, so a bit lighter and then 75.4. So these K2 cells are definitely heavier than either of these two, significantly heavier, about 10, 15% heavier than uh, the A123s. You can feel it. it. These feel a little more solid inside. Check the dimensions on these. Yeah, so these are 26.42, which is a little big compared to these ones here which are coming in pretty much exactly at 26 millimeters. This one's a little bit large, 26.22. So let's try putting these in our here cell holder which fits these guys just fine. And so yeah, I kind of suspected that these might be a little bit larger than your standard. I can no, I don't think, I could probably force that in, but I would probably tear all that shrink wrap coating off these. So these probably won't fit in your standard 26650 holders. Um, that won't be a problem for me because I 3D print these and I can change the size, but if you're buying kind of off the shelf 26650 holders, I would check to make sure they fit. I don't have any here to test but I believe that these are exactly the size that they should be. <clears throat> 26.2, I think it is. So yeah, these do not fit. <clears throat> I have another cell holder here. These come from the EMC packs where I salvage out the A123 cells. And these, of course, will fit because they come out of here. These guys fit a little bit snugger. And then these guys here, eh, it's a very tight fit. I would, I'm not pushing it down all the way because I am afraid of tearing that shrink wrap. So yeah, that kind of confirms that these probably won't fit in your standard cell holders. So they're a little bit large. All right, so let's check the height on these and see if they're the same. I don't like doing this because I don't want to short these out. So we got 65.4 on 
the K2 cell. Got basically 65. And this one's just shy of it, but I'm sure it's just the tolerances of my calipers here. And then this one here, 65.81. So this one here is a little bit larger than the, even the K2. Okay, so that's pretty much all I have to say about these cells. They are fantastic as far as storage density goes and their specs. They would make fantastic cells for a power wall. I didn't really put these through any kind of stress test yet. Um, I just tested their capacity and no surprises there that they tested within are a little bit better than their spec as they are brand new. I'm planning on putting these into a power wall that I'm working on. I'm doing one right now using the A123 cells, which are these ones here, which I have salvaged from the EMC 48 cell packs. These are all tested pretty much 90 to 100% capacity. These are used cells, but they're going into these uh, 48 cell modules, which will go into my power wall at some point. So these cells will have a similar fate to that. Again, these were from Battery Hookup. I got them pretty much the day that they announced them on their site. They come in a case pack. You get 120 for 228. Of course, there's a 5% coupon that they have or a discount code. It kind of helps with the shipping costs. I know they said that they're going to be selling these individually at some point. So I guess they probably have a bunch of them. I think the individual price will be a little bit more probably than if you buy them by the case. Anyhow, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching.